Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Um, it's kind of after hours uh, Facebook Live. Um, I'm just going to kind of play around with some things. Um, probably not talk a whole lot. Um, but uh, um, I got uh, some energy to burn and, and some canvases to paint on. So we're just going to get to it. So um, feel free to ask questions or anything if you guys would like. Um, and uh, I'm just going to take a look here and see why this is getting kind of funky here. You guys see me okay? Everything, uh, camera looks normal. I'm not all twisted, right? The comments look like they're a little funky on the side there. So um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to go, um, we're going to do just something a little different. Um, I've been kind of wanting to dabble a little bit with doing uh, butterflies, so I'm going to kind of do that with you guys right now. Um, let me grab... Now, I don't always recommend um, going right to your canvas with paint, but we're just going to kind of have, we're going to do some abstract fun with this tonight. Have like a, I don't know, we're just going to have fun with this. I hope you guys can see this. Cool. You guys see that? We just kind of splattered some paint and did some kind of unique look to it. All right, so. All right, we're just going to, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to play with it, okay? Um, dry brush. I'm going to kind of go over this. Got some cool blendage. I'm going to do long strokes on this just because we want this to kind of get streaky. Cool. We're going to try to fill in all this. Got a little bit less towards the edges here. So that purple really stands out, doesn't it? Holy smokes. All right, let's go. Oh. All right, make sure we get a little of this purple on the edges. It's kind of neat. A little something different. Alright, so some long strokes. Now you guys can do whatever you want with your background. Um, I'm just kind of making something a little different than we're used to. Hope you guys like that. It's kind of neat. Um, super fun. Just making sure that we get everything's covered. No weird half strokes on there. <coughs> kind of a weird drag mark down the middle there. I think sometimes you get a weird hair on, on your brush. It'll give you a weird drag mark through there. All right, cool, we're leaving it. We're leaving that alone. Just paint the edges uh, with whatever we have left over on the brush here, just so that it's not white and looks unfinished. Hope you guys remember to do that when you're painting. Just something fun. Weird. This is totally off the off the cuff tonight, guys. We're totally just kind of going for it. Even just got paint totally on my arm. I don't know what you think. Alright, I like it like that. We'll stick with that. 
totally painted on myself. Check it out. Oh, you can see it. Painted on my arm. That's great. <coughs> Just a second. <coughs> Totally painted on my arm. Awesome. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we got this, um, this is totally different and random and kind of cool. Hey, we got uh, <laughs> got more folks tuning into this one than our tree because we are just kind of learning on the fly. We're going to do something kind of neat here. Um, we want to do, I'm going to put a branch in here so that we can have a, a, a butterfly on it or maybe. Maybe we should do like a some tall grasses or something. I don't know. Um, we'll stick with a branch. We'll just kind of come in with a branch here. Not a tree, folks. We're just uh, we're sticking with a branch on this one here. So we're gonna have something for this butterfly to hang out on. Thanks for tuning back in. I don't know if I really looked to see who's who on there yet, but um, before earlier tonight we did kind of a metallic teal tree with a purple background um, and uh, turned out really cool used a, a little different technique with the sun moon glow off to the side um, a little bit higher up in the higher in the sky again we're kind of twisting the brush as we go through this thicker paint seems natural to me to do these branches and stuff but um, if you're struggling with it just practice and again the technique I like to use is, is twisting the brush as you pull it through um, here hold on a second we're gonna try this a little bit different bear with me we're just kind of experimenting here tell me if that if that looks better you guys like that better a little different angle You like that angle butter? All right. Cool. You guys just hanging with me and just watching. I'm your Thursday evening entertainment. I like it. just uh, kind of pulling this through here it's still kind of wet um, again it's personal preference you can do it when it's dry um, with this background that's dry then you're not going to be pulling through some of these strange colors and stuff but I think it's kind of neat seeing the different effects that it has on it Liking it. What do you guys think? Is it kind of a kind of wacky angle, or do you guys like it? Cool. All right. Um, so we're gonna put 
I'm gonna put our butterfly out here in this area. So I'm gonna kind of bring another branch in. We got competing kind of attention. And again, I'm just spinning this brush as I go through the paint, um, just so that it's not smudging it, smearing it. Um, we're using the black from our first painting we did tonight. How are we doing, guys? Got about 26 folks hanging out. That's more than we had in our first one. I like it. I like it when you guys are just hanging out. Hope you can learn something. I know I'm not really teaching a whole lot as far as tutorial wise tonight, but um, some folks just tune in for the the therapeutic music and and I'm kind of digging this. Super cool. And, you know, it's just a matter of personal preference on where you want some of these branches to end up at, um, how long you want them, if you want to split them off and have them cross over each other. I mean, like I said, we just go out in the woods and check out trees and see what they look like and see how they ebb and flow. And then you just kind of practice and play with it. Cool. Make it a little thicker back here. I like that one. This one's neat. Cool. I like it. What do you guys think? Kind of moody. Looks neat. Kind of gnarly. A couple more in here. Kind of looks like a sun sky with some some water underneath. It's kind of neat. I like it. Something different. Cool, cool. It's just hanging out. Okay. I'm new. First live to today. Thanks for uh, tuning in. First time there. Um, yes, this is all acrylics. Um, I have not dabbled in a whole lot of other stuff. Oils. And I tried oil pastel um, before. Just wasn't a huge fan. Um, but I like this. This is cool. All right. I don't like how flat this one is. still wet because you can really blend some of these highlights in here. You don't want super long lines. Um, I'm going to break them up a little bit as we go, but I 
we're just gonna kind of pretend that this highlights highlighted light source is kind of in the middle of the, of the painting. I just kind of wiped off the yellow off of my brush. I'm just kind of coming back through so that we're kind of muting that highlight just a little bit so it's not, doesn't look like a brush stroke through there. It ends up on both sides of your, your highlight. Just kind of pulling that through, just feathering it a little bit. Obviously these thicker branches are gonna have more highlight because they're bigger. Cool, I like it. Adds a little dimension to that. Right, that's cool. Now we are gonna be putting a butterfly on here just for you guys just tuning in. We're gonna throw a butterfly in the mix here. Just laying down some highlights here. You guys just tuning in. See what is going on. This isn't a tree. Is this even peat? I mean, it kind of is. We got some branches and stuff, so it's just a mini tree. All right, cool. So we got some highlights there. I'll throw a couple of these in here, just so it doesn't look like a solid. Solid highlight on that. Cool. What do you guys think? Loving it. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna do a butterfly. I haven't done one before, so we're gonna just go for it. Um, I'm trying to think of what color I think we're gonna do. We're gonna stick with that um, metallic color that we had earlier, um, but we're gonna frame it in in black. So, how much black we got left here? All right, so bear with me on this one. This is a new experience for me. I have not painted a butterfly before, so. I'm nervous. So we're getting close to getting this body done. The songs you want, when you want them. With Amazon Music Unlimited, you get all the music all the time, all without ads. Start now free for 30 days. Just ask, try Amazon Music Unlimited. Mm. Renews automatically, cancel anytime. All right. <laughs> Good. Hi, it's Jamie, Progressive number one, number two employee. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's you, Jamie. Don't hang up. You need to hear this. You've got to quit wearing that aviator jacket. <laughs> Nobody's buying it. 
Sorry you have to hear it from me, but at Progressive, we're all about giving it to people straight. That's why we show our rates alongside our competitors' I'm rates. I'm going to make this. And when you're helping people find great butterfly. rates, you don't need some jacket to look cool. Just keep rocking that scarf. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparisons not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. We're going to make this a fairy tale butterfly. Cool. All right, I like it. What do you guys think? Kind of something different? All right, now I'm gonna get some fun, fun colors. Let's do this. I'm gonna rinse this brush off really quick. It's gonna pick up some of this orange color from the background. I kind of like that. So we're gonna kind of feather this out. It actually looks like peacock feathers. So I'm not gonna dig it. So you just kind of play with this a little bit and we're going to fill all this in here in a minute anyway, so. Let's, let's just fill this in real quick and then we'll add some texture to it over top. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, this 
them. some of this. It's kind of neat. I don't know if that shows up on camera or not, but it's kind of cool. Add some more teal to this. Neat, neat, neat. Cool. So this is just kind of on the fly. No pun intended. We can put some black lines back over it too if you kind of get too close to those lines there. some purple that's so cool so let's, let's sweep some of that purple in there oh yeah I like it that's, that's neat this purple on this bottom piece I'm just grabbing a little metallic purple kind of feathering it through so it's not so dark on this bottom piece we got more of a teal and purple blend going on here oh man that's fun that's fun we're all just kind of learning together on this Love it. this is going to be a lot darker on this back side since it is a shadow so we're going to just grab color popping through so grab more of that black drag it through <clears throat> and hit that with some darker purple cool alright now we're gonna come back in with some of these black lines again original brush that we had. The lines are a little thinner. doing some fun stuff with that. Cool. What do you guys think? Still got a couple of people hanging out. Hey, I like it. Cool. All right, I like it, I like it, I like it.
I'm just adding some details. I want to kind of go overboard with some of that stuff, so. My backside's going to be a little more blended with some darkness there. <clears throat> what do you guys think? We got kind of a, a Pete original butterfly type deal. Um, you can kind of play with some different things, have some fun with it. Um, this is uh, something I hadn't tried before, so we got to make sure we got this curl here. Um, that there's going to be a second curl when that one comes down. Uh, let's do it right about here. So we got the second wing. It's going to have that curl as well, a little, a little further back. So kind of neat there. Um, thoughts? What do you guys think? Does it look realistic? Does it look kind of futuristic, kind of cool? Um, I'm digging this whole backdrop. I don't know if you guys caught that, all of you that are still watching, but uh, we basically just drizzled purple, yellow, and orange um, onto the onto the blank canvas and just kind of went across it with a, a dry brush and it created this background. Um, I, I'm just, I'm super stoked about that. That's definitely gonna be, you know, honestly, this is learning for me too, so. Um, I thank you guys for hanging out with me on that. Um, totally different for me. Sorry, I'm adjusting. Still there? All right, cool. Sorry. Um, so just, I'm learning a lot of things too, um, about some techniques and different ways to do certain things. Um, so this is, this is what we came up with. Uh, it's really kind of moody and, uh, the, I'll definitely do some work. I did put some metallic colors into that uh, that um, butterfly, but um, just kind of make things your own. Um, try some different things out. This obviously is not a butterfly I'm going to see anytime soon, but <laughs> maybe in Alice in Wonderland or something like that. You know, it's 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 your world. We're just living in it. You know, so honestly, um, experiment, try some new things. Um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, yeah, it looks, uh, what was a blue morpho? That's kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, it's got some some blues and some purples in it, and it picked up some oranges. Um, um, it, picks, it picked up a little oranges from the, the under underlying paint. Uh, it's kind of a neat deal there. Um, so, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys coming back, and uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. I get lost in my own world down here, so. Um, I'm just going to keep painting tonight, so um, I'm going to end this live and start another one so I can use this video um, um, yeah, for other purposes, but I, uh, I'm going to end this live here shortly and, and start another one. If you guys are, you know, bored out of your mind and want to hang out with me, um, that's super cool. Um, I appreciate you guys being around. So again, one more, uh, one more shot here of this experimental little, uh, purpley hazy orange sky i might do another one of these with that same backdrop put some palm trees in it i think that's kind of a good idea so um actually if you guys want to just hang out i'll just do that why not there's no rules right let's do it another canvas some more fun it's even got purple in it already um yeah so let's do that let's do some some purple sky, draw some purple in there. All right, we're gonna, sorry, I lost you guys. I'll bring you back down so you can see what we're doing. All right, there we are. If you guys wanna just hang, hang with me for tonight, we're just gonna kinda of have some fun. Um, so we're gonna actually do a mirror image. So we're gonna to try to get as much purple kind of in some of these spots and then kind of top and bottom mainly and then we're gonna put our oranges and yellows more towards the middle I'm gonna use this little brighter we got this uh, nice acrylic master's touch lemon yellow from uh, Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna throw a little of that a couple glass of that Cool, streaky that stuff right in there. Let's do a nice big glob here. This will kind of be where our sun's at. Give us a 
little bit more there. Throw in some orange. We're just gonna have fun with this. Caribbean blue in there too, so what the heck? Why not? Cool. Alright, let's do this. We ready? Let's see what we get. Let me start up here with these purple leaves. Oh. Probably used way too much paint, guys. <laughs> Getting a little excited there. Definitely have enough coverage. Definitely does not look like the other one. So yeah, it does look like we got the sun in here. Um, I think that's kind of neat. Uh, one more for right here. We'll pull this purple line out of here. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so we got this colorful business going on here. And um, we're gonna need a horizon line. So let's grab Some of this yellow that we have here. Got our horizon line there. Now we're gonna kind of come in with a little bit of yellow. Highlight some of the sun. some streakiness in here anyways so this is just kind of defining that line adding just a couple more highlights in here like down in this purple kind of neat some of that yellow in there in the sun neat 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 I like it just kind of hanging out with Pete Walters tonight doing some random stuff man <laughs> Going with no plan tonight, just uh, here we are. So. I like it. Well, I guess still got some people hanging out. So, so it looks like we got some some sun stuff going on there. Um, I did get a package 
I can remember where they're at. Um, with a little bit tighter tops for doing uh, those trees. It's palm trees. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try this brush. It's kind of a hybrid. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a hybrid. Um, fan brush and um, so we kind of frame in some trees here. Let's see. What do we got for black left? A little more black. And we're going to go for it here with these palm trees. too much about the bottom we're gonna cover those with some land Oh man, uh, this is the brush right here, guys. It's got little tiny fingers at the end. It's kind of a hybrid half fan brush. Half a uh, square end brush there. It definitely has got the ferns, the palms. The ends of it, you just lightly dab through it. Oh, dude, <laughs> I'm digging this. One more. Neat. Neato. So neato. Hi, it's Jamie, progressive number one, number two employee. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's you, Jamie. All right, so this actually pulls right through this. some of this color. Um, and no it definitely highlights it. itself. Sorry you have to hear it so from that's me, super but cool. progressive, we're all about giving it to people straight. That's why we show our rates alongside our competitors' rates. And when you're right, you get a progressive rates, commercial. You don't need you some get to look cool. Just keep rocking that scarf. This is a little darker because it's it's a little further back, we'll say. So I'm not a ton of black Amazon Music Unlimited, you can listen to any song anytime. Access 50 million songs whenever you want. Just ask. Try Amazon Music Unlimited. Oh, you guys checking this out but holy smokes this is super awesome um totally digging this um now we need uh let's make another one what the heck we'll do a little one off to the side here do a little one lower a little one back huh? Ooh, that's got some orange in it. That's super neat.
Oh man. So cool. So cool. Totally digging that. All right. It's time for some land. We'll just kind of, we don't even need to switch brushes. We're just going to kind of come in here with this. Same thing. Just going to fill this in. And then we're going to highlight that tree. tiny little fine brush and we're going to use a little of this yellow and we're going to kind of highlight these trees just a little bit just like we normally do in our oak trees and stuff we want to make sure that sun is you know we're highlighting the side that the sun is on and not doing it you know on the opposite side so it looks super funky get done saying it and then Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, this is cool. We just started slapping stuff together and look what happens, you know? I mean, what the heck? I'll take it. This is so tropical feeling. It's got some really good colors to it. Um, you can always come in and do some clouds and stuff if you wanted to, but like we did in our, our original one, but I don't know. I like this one so much better. I use that brush. That's like my new favorite thing to do palm trees. And, um, here, I'll show this to you guys. We'll Bring this back up. That didn't take us, what, Mitch, 15 minutes or so? There is our tropical escape. Wow, look at that color just pop. That, that yellow behind those trees. It's just super cool. Sorry for the glare, but holy man, look at that. That's super cool. Super cool. Um, we're, just, we're just having fun tonight, trying new things. And thinking it's working. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me and having fun. I mean, this is just kind of what we're doing. Digging it, yes, I love it. Um, so, pop it in and out, just having fun with this. I think uh, I'm gonna take a break and get a drink and um, chug down some water and who knows, maybe paint later. I don't know if you guys are up, I'll be up. So, <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm gonna ta-ta for now.